المواقيت حج and Umrah have five مواقيت of locations which are where the person enters into the state of Ihram. These are Dhul Hulayfa and it is presently at the southern part of Medina and it is also referred to as Abiyar Ali. Its distance from Mecca is close to 420 kilometers. It is the Miqat for the people of Medina. Secondly, Al Juhfa. It is close to the city of Rabigh. Its distance from Mecca is close to 186 kilometers. And it is the Miqat for the people of Sham, Egypt, and Maghrib, meaning Morocco. Thirdly, Yalamlam. It is a large valley on the route linking Yemen to Mecca. Nowadays, it is also called As Saadiya. And its distance from Mecca is close to 120 kilometers. It is the Miqat of the people of Yemen. Fourthly, Qarnul Manazil. It is now called As Sail Al Kabir. And its distance from Mecca is close to 75 kilometers. And it is the Miqat of the people of Najd and Ta'if. Its highest point on the route from Ta'if in the direction of Al Hada is a place called Wadi Muharram. Both are Miqat for the people of Najd and anyone who comes through Ta'if. Fifthly, Dhatu Irq, and it is presently called Al Dariba or Al Khuraybat. And it is on the east of Mecca at a distance of about 100 kilometers. It has now been abandoned. It is the Miqat of the people from the east, meaning Iraq, Iran, and beyond. The evidence for all the above is what has been narrated on the authority of Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, who said that the Messenger of Allah made as Miqat for the people of Medina, Dhul Hulayfa, and for the people of Sham, Al Juhfa and for the people of Najd, Qarnul Manazil, and for the people of Yemen, Yalamlam. And he, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, Those Miqat are for their residents and non-residents who pass through them with the intention of making Hajj or Umrah. As for anyone coming from a place nearer to Mecca, then his Miqat will be the very point at which he starts the journey for Hajj or Umrah, including the people of Mecca, who will start from Mecca. Dhatu Irq is not mentioned in the above hadith as it was prescribed by Umar ibn Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him. Whoever goes beyond these mawaqeet without entering into the state of Ihram, he would then have to go back to the Biqat, if possible. If he is not able to do that, he has to pay a fidya or a ransom, which involves the slaughter of an animal in Mecca and the distribution of its meat among the poor at the Haram. Whoever passes these mawaqeet and is not one of their residents, he has to enter into the state of Ihram at it. If a resident of Najd comes from the road of Medina, he has to enter into the state of Ihram at Abiyar Ali. Whoever resides at a place after the Miqat, nearer to Mecca, he has to enter into the state of Ihram for Hajj and Umrah from his home such as the residents of Jeddah, Bahra, and Al-Shara'ya. Whoever comes from a road that does not pass by the Mawaqeet, by land, sea, or air, he should then enter into the state of Ihram when he reaches the place adjoining the nearest Miqat for him. For Umar said, when asked about not being able to reach the Miqat of Qarn, take as your Miqat a place situated opposite to Qarn on your usual way. Whoever intends to perform Hajj when he is in Mecca, whether he is one of its residents or not, he should enter into the state of Ihram from Mecca. As for performing Umrah, he should enter into the state of Ihram from the area of Al-Hil, at Al-Tan'im, or Al-Ja'rana, masjids, which are places outside the boundaries of Al-Haram. Hajj also has Mawaqeet of time 
and they are the months of Shawwal, Dhul Qa'dah, and the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. As for Umrah, the time of its mawaqeet is the whole year.